Today I'm going to be sharing from Amos chapter 7 and from this remarkable confrontation between the humble prophet from Tekoa in Judah, Amos, and Amaziah, who is the priest of Bethel. He's basically the king's flunky religious representative. And the verse of the day is the beginning of their confrontation. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent to King Jeroboam of Israel, saying, Amos has conspired against you in the very center of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. It's interesting to me that in this verse, uh, you have prophet, priest, and king, which, not to get ahead of ourselves, later on, uh, we see Jesus fulfilling all three of those roles, right? Jesus is prophet, he is priest, he is king. But here it's three different people. And as I said, you have a very humble Amos. He was a herder of sheep and a tender of sycamore trees who gets called out of his daily life to go and preach these hard words in the northern kingdom of Israel. You have Amaziah, who's the designated religious representative of the king, and a great example of why all of us who are spiritual leaders or whatever our level of uh, religious or spiritual involvement need to be super, super careful uh, about getting too attached to any political person, any individual, any political party, because so often it's easy for people to get co-opted, to be used, to be manipulated by those who are the political or in this case, the king. Uh, and that's clearly the case with Amaziah. He is the king's mouthpiece. And he says the land isn't able to bear all Amos' words because Amos is saying the end is coming, you're going to be conquered, the king's going to die. And nobody wants to hear that who's working in the king's court. And I, again, encourage you to read uh, verses 10 through 17 and to read this confrontation where Amaziah basically tells Amos to buzz off, get out of here, go home, hit the road, go back to Judah and earn your bread there prophesying, but don't do it here because this is the king's sanctuary and a temple of the kingdom. And as I said on Sunday, that's the problem, is that it's not the sanctuary of God, it's the king's. It's been politically co-opted, just like many religious leaders in recent years get co-opted by powerful political figures who use them for their own purposes. And he says it's a temple of the kingdom, again, revealing what's wrong. It's not a temple of the holy God. It's a temple serving the king and the king's purposes. We have to be very careful that we are true, like Amos was, to God, to God's spirit, and to God's word, and never let us be used by someone else for political gain.